okay so now we have seen what is an implicant so an implicant is the min term corresponding to a cell which is having one in the k map so for example in a k map if even if we having a subcube of size one a subcube of size only one cell then that itself is representing a min term or so that it itself is representing an implicant and a prime implicant is an implicant which is not a part of any other subcube so you can say all the possible groupings in the k map are known as prime implicates an implicant g of a function f is said to be prime implicant if g is a product term or g represents a subcube and g is a subcube which is not a part of any other subcube g is a subcube which is not a part of any other subcube then it is a prime implicant an essential prime implicant it is a prime implicant which is having at least a single one which is only one time grouping known as essential prime implicant or you can say a prime implicant g of function f is said to be essential prime implicant if it covers at least one min term of f which is not covered by any other prime implicant okay so let us uh, check this one so in this k map we can make a subcube like this we can make a subcube like this we can make a subcube like this as well as we can also make a subcube like this okay fine now this sub q this sub q it is an implicant it is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant why because first of all it is an implicant because it is a sub q see even if you have a sub cube of size 1 sub cube of size 1 Uh, size one is a one single cell. For example, this is one single cell. That itself is an implicate. So this is a prime implicate. Why? Because it is a subcube which is not completely a part of any other subcube. Therefore, it is a prime implicate and it is an essential prime implicate. Right. So if you take this particular subcube, this one, then this particular subcube is a prime implicate. It is an implicate as well as it is an essential prime implicate. as well as it is essential prime implicant why it is essential prime why because it is covering at least one one which is not covered by any other subcube one one is covered which is not covered by any other subcube but if you take this subcube if you take this subcube add this subcube they are not covering at least one one which is not covered by any other subcube the, what what do i mean to say is if you discuss about this one that this one is already covered by this if you discuss about this one and this one is covered by this as well as this one is also covered by this this subcube is also covering this one and this subcube is also covering this one and this subcube is also covering this one so this subcube this one and this one they are implicant they are prime implicants but they are not essential prime implicant they are not essential prime why because they are not covering at least one one which is not covered by anything else okay now if you check this k map this is a this is bc then this sub q is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant this sub q is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant because it is not uh, it is covering at least one one which is not covered by anything else now in this k map we can make a subcube like this we can make a subcube like this as well as we can make a subcube like this right so this is a subcube which is covering only one cell this is a subcube which is covering two cells this is a subcube which is covering three uh, two cells right so this subcube this one is an implicant because it is a subcube it is a prime implicant because it is not completely a part of any other subcube for example if you take this subcube and this is this subcube is completely a part of this subcube so this subcube is not a prime implicant this outer subcube is prime implicant but here this is not completely a part of any other subcube small small part can be there but not completely this is also essential prime implicant why because it is covering this one which is not covered by anything else now if you discuss about this one now this subcube is an implicant it is a prime implicant it is also essential prime implicant why it is covering this one which is not covered by anything else and this one this one it is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant because it is not covered by anything else okay now if you check these k maps we can have a subcube like this 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 
as well as we can make smaller subcube inside this bigger subcube we can make smaller subcube inside this bigger subcube okay now this one is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is essential prime implicant we have already discussed this this one is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is essential prime implicant this one is implicant it is a prime implicant it is essential prime implicant this one is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is essential prime implicant now this bigger one is an implicant it is also a prime implicant but it is not a essential prime implicant it is not a essential prime implicant okay now if you take this k map in this k map we can make a subcube like this like this like this 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 as well as this okay now in this case if you take the bigger subcube this bigger subcube is an implicant it is a prime implicant as well as it is a essential prime implicant okay and this subcube is an implicant it is a prime implicant but it is not a essential prime implicant why because both the ones are can also be covered by other subcubes okay now this one this one as well as this one all these three this one this one this one and this one this one two three and four all these four subcubes are implicants they are prime implicants but they are not essential prime implicants they are not essential prime implicants okay so uh, we can next is redundant prime implicant it is a prime implicant with or without it there is no effect in the uh, circuit resultant so for example if you take this complete one in this case this one the biggest one i told you we can ignore this one why because even if you don't use this still uh, the solution equation we are getting that will not be affected that will not change the logical value of that solution equation therefore this one is a redundant prime implicant this one is a redundant prime implicant all the other ones are important okay so uh, we can find redundant prime implicant here also we can find redundant prime implicant here also but for, for that we need to understand how to find a redundant prime implicant okay now note if the grouping was done by zeros then we get false implicant false prime implicant as well as false essential prime implicant for example here we are doing the grouping with ones so they are known as implicant prime implicant and essential prime implicant but if we do a grouping by using zeros then this is called as false implicant false prime implicant as well as false essential prime implicants okay so let us try to analyze so first of all we'll do one thing we'll do one thing we take this one and let us try to analyze why this one is a redundant prime implicant why uh, without this also we can get a correct solution and why we can ignore this one okay